Microsoft today had an amazing event. They announced a whole bunch of new technologies and I'm gonna recap that for you. I had a quick hands-on experience with some of their new things that they announced. I'm talking basically the uh, Surface 5, the Surface Pro 9, the Pro 9 5G, the Surface Studio Plus, uh, the Dock, the Presenter, um, and even taking a look at some of their new integration with iPhone technology into Windows 11. Meaning you no longer need to download anything additional. You just literally plug in your iPhone and you're able to connect to your iCloud account right into, well, into the Windows Explorer section, making it very easy and very simple. This is TK, and this is my hands-on experience with the Surface, well, I guess the Surface October 2022 launch event. Starting off with the Surface computers, uh, there's a Surface 5 and the Surface Pro 9. Now the Surface 5 is obviously something uh, a little bit more of an advanced version than the Laptop Go 2 that I have here that we've showcased and we've had other videos covered here on the channel. Uh, the main difference of course is the overall bigger display, the more powerful processing, and also the new colorway that they're also putting in there. And the last thing that they also introduced to me, or at least they explained, was the fact that these laptops are actually pretty much unique to every single piece of computing because it's well balanced to the point where you're able to open it up and close it with one finger. We have obviously different sizes, different power options as well as far as the processing side there, but the biggest difference here is the aesthetics is definitely nicer and the overall experience is focused on Microsoft. Now we're going to be talking also about the fact that the new updated camera with microphone array are also going to be in there and I'm going to talk to you guys about that a little bit when we get into the Pro 9 side because we're talking about obviously Obviously the brand new SQ3 or the what they're calling as SQ3 essentially is the HCX mobile processing uh, processor from Qualcomm that we've seen for the last couple of years now integrated into a brand new Windows on ARM a surface and that's the Pro 9 5G so that's going to have obviously long battery life uh, it identical overall aesthetically looks very similar to the Pro 9 the big difference is you'll notice is that there is antenna bands at the top of the laptop and that's basically where the 5G connectivity is going to go there and one thing I really was excited about that is we actually have the ability of using T-Mobile as a carrier. So it's not locked to a specific carrier like we've seen in the past. I think we've seen one from Verizon before, but now it definitely looks like it's open, it's easy to use. So between the two, obviously you're looking at an Intel base or an um, ARM you're going to basically pick whichever one works best for you. One is a little bit more mobile. One uh, definitely gives you a much more longer battery life, runs cooler since it's running on a mobile processor. So the XEX, I think, is definitely, or the SQ3 model, will definitely give you a better experience there. Now, when we look over on the Intel side, it's pretty much the same experience with also incorporating the brand new directional microphones that they have in there with the front-facing camera. Last but not least, also giving us the ability of having the front-facing speakers, and that's something that they incorporated on the actual unit by putting the speakers on the sides of the actual PC, which makes it very, very nice. Now I want to give you guys a quick sample of the audio processing that they were talking about there. And I promise you this is going to look really interesting, but the reality of the matter is I had a whole bunch of people around me clapping, making a whole bunch of sounds, and I was talking straight into the PC. And from the audio, you would have no idea that anybody was around me. Check this out. Oh, so it starts on your clap? Yeah, we're, we're going to want to um, so we're gonna make some background noise. So say, whatever, say whatever you would like, and then we'll make some uh, background noise when we say Let's go. Okay, so right now I'm at the Microsoft Surface Line here. We're checking out a whole bunch of laptops. We're checking out brand new the Surface uh, Pro 9 with 5G, without 5G. And I'm testing out the microphone. Right now, I'm utilizing a lot of people clapping around me and making a lot of noise just to see how they sound. So I hope you guys like this. Now, the audio wasn't the only thing that they improved here. Obviously, the front-facing camera experience, which we've seen on all of the other Surface laptops coming out today, definitely was improved to give us that experience that we've expected, which means high-quality video, high-quality audio with less distractions. During the launch event, they were showcasing a guy do, literally using a hairdryer, and I asked for one. They wouldn't give me one, but it, then, at the end of the day, it looks really nice. So that was the Surface Pro 9, the Pro 9 5G, again, um, either an Intel-based or 12th gen Intel-based or using the mobile uh, processing and the Surface 5. So the next thing I wanna to talk to you guys about is the Microsoft Studio 2 Plus. Now this is the updated, more faster processing uh, experience that we have in here. Same 32 inch, large, beautiful display, touch display with a nice, better hinge mechanism, essentially a one finger experience again, the ability to be opening or bringing it down. And uh, much better implementation of Windows optimization for when it's down in closer to tablet mode and it allows us to have a bigger uh, action bar at the bottom. The overall experience is much better incorporated, better I.O. We're talking about using Thunderbolt across the board here. They're bringing in all of the Thunderbolt ports um, on top of the fact, obviously, that we're able to incorporate or uh, connect using uh, basically connecting iPhones directly over so you can charge things from it, use it, uh, incorporate all the iCloud functionalities without having to do much on the system. Very nice. It's definitely for creatives, uh, supports pen input, touch input, 
and it has much better uh, processing power now using the i7 built in here with an RTX 3060 discrete GPU. So that's gonna be one of the better options that we get in there from the studio. Definitely more information coming up on that one hopefully soon. Uh, the next couple of things I wanna to talk to you guys about is the brand new speaker dock as well as the Presenter Plus. Now the Presenter Plus is pretty much what it sounds like. It's uh, a tool that enables us to present and of course to control our functionality. It has a Teams button which enables us to answer a Teams call if you get that. Obviously Microsoft is gonna incorporate some of those things in there. We have a mute button uh, and of course a laser pointer for, uh, for presentation which is nice because it actually connects directly into the uh, presentation and people on the other side can see it. So even though it's a laser pointer, it's really more of a mouse controller and it works really nice and of course a back and forth button really nice in a small dock you can charge it connect it and configure it with your pc the next thing we're going to talk about is a single cable connection to be able to dock into a system and that's utilizing the speaker dock that you can use to connect to multiple displays uh, supporting up to two 4k 30 frames per second or two 1080p 60 frames per second displays and one cable thunderbolt connection into let's say to the pro 9 enabling us to have one cable to charge the laptop but also display from it and making it very simple you dock in you can experience everything and it works it has a couple of buttons at the top, uh, a microphone uh, on and off for Teams, as well as an answer button for the Teams meeting, and as well, the ability of incorporating audio from your PC. So a very nice little dock that looks like a PC, uh, that looks like a little speaker, but it really still functions very nicely at providing us a one uniform experience. Now, the last couple of things I wanna talk about is obviously, uh, first, there's an updated version of the Photos app in, directly within the system. It'll enable us to have better editing options. Uh, the incorporation of or better support for iPhone on uh, Windows 11, enabling us to be able to basically plug in our, wind, our iPhone into our PC and getting the iCloud functionality, accessing our images, everything from there very simply and very easily. Uh, one of the other things that they covered here is accessories or at least uh, mobility and the ability of actually incorporating new 3D printed model options. So there was a nice new little mouse that they introduced that with the incorporation of a few accessories, you can turn it into a full size mouse and that mouse can actually convert from right handed to left handed very easily. A whole bunch of different things going on as far as the ability of also kind of making it open for people to be able to design different accessories and 3D print them straight off for Microsoft. And they actually talked about releasing the CAD models for their original accessories directly into the open market so that people can actually use it and start building on it as opposed to try to backwards engineer it. Uh, the mechanism look, works really nicely and of course it's all going to also support the additional features that we have built into Windows 11 coming in so it becomes more native into the system. Accessibility should never be something that we should be added, it should be based in, or well, should be incorporated into our OS and Windows 11 is bringing that in with the accessories and the built-in functionalities directly within Windows. Um, that and a few other customizations to be able to get custom colors, custom patterns on different Surface laptops. Those are some of the other things that they announced, but the reality is there was so much more. I'm gonna give you guys obviously a link in the description below to check out uh, more information and to find out more about some of the new technologies coming in. And hopefully I'll be able to get my hands on on some of their experiences. Again, this is the laptop go to, so hopefully we'll see what the Surface 5 does and as well as obviously the Pro 9. That Pro 9 5G is really interesting to me because it features a technology that we use every day on our mobile devices. Obviously, we're talking about a Qualcomm uh, chipset, but it's for mobile and it is Windows on ARM. And 90% of the time, realistically, we use our phones all the time. So utilizing that type of processing power increases not only battery life, but also really keeps it cool and gives us the full functionalities of everything we want. Like and subscribe. Make sure you hit that, uh, obviously, bell so you know, always know whenever we have new videos. Thank you for the support. I'll see you in the next video.